fact of two in a row, the Oregon State football team had the opportunity to become bowl eligible in week eight. Fox 12's Nick Krupke was in Corvallis for the Beavers and Buffaloes. My boy Nick Krupke? What's up, Jaden? Nice job, man. It's going bowling. There will be bigger games for the Beavers. They've had bigger already this season, but this was a big one to get bowl eligible before Halloween for just the fourth time in program history. Doing it right on a perfect night in Beaver Nation. Colorado has an interim coach, and they're not very good. The Beavs defense, top of the table. They're favored by 23, and they covered. The turnover chainsaw cranked up in that first quarter. Rayshon Wright was right on the spot to recover the fumble to take back what the Beavs had lost. And from there, it was all Damian Martinez, the freshman from Texas. Get out of the way. A four-yard score on a short 40-yard drive. Now, winners of two straight with Ben Gilbrandt at starting quarterback. The redshirt freshman got the call again with the chance Nolan on the shelf with a neck injury. Ben ribs it to Silas Bolden from a 16-yard touchdown through the air. Martinez added another one from there on the ground. 21-3 edge of the Beavs, and that young buck has fully arrived. True freshmen tallied three of their first four scores, including tight end Jack Velling. Go big or go home. Velling out of Seattle goes for 60. The longest Beaver tight end touchdown since 1996. Yeah, Jack wasn't born then. Beaver Nation, a little damp, a little cold, and darn happy to see an easy win. The best secondary in the Pac-12 did it again. Alex Austin, a pick six. O-State's first in three years to deep six the Buffaloes on a four takeaway day. Martinez posted 170 yards on 22 totes and a hat trick of touchdowns. OSU, our hats off to you, 42 to nine. The six and two Beavs now going bowling for the second straight season of that reclamation project by Jonathan Smith and his staff with just four games to play. But that's, the, that's a beautiful thing, though, is that, you know, these new dudes, dudes who are in our, our program, this is exactly what they expect. You know, they expect to go to bowl games early in this season. They, they don't expect to have to, you know, wait on your last two games to figure out if you're going to be eligible or not. So I think that's a beautiful thing about, you know, this process. I mean, I don't really have a range. It's just whatever coach needs me to do, whatever the team needs me to get done, execute. It's my job. Well, I think there's a maturity to this group. I think we understand there's a big, big month of November of these games we got in front of us. All right, Benny, those beeves are going bowling. You're pumped. Yeah, baby. Benny's feeling it right. These beeves feeling pretty good. Six and two. That's the way to go. In Corvallis, Nick Krupke, Bucks of Oregon.